I would argue, and, and you would probably uh, deflect and give credit elsewhere, I would argue that you were at the forefront of innovation in schematics and football, really at every level, but, but certainly at the college level. And what you guys were doing at New Hampshire and then what you brought to Oregon changed college football. The tempo, the ingenuity in terms of how you practiced, when you practiced, it was all new. And that's mm -hmm. all anybody could talk about was what you were doing at Oregon. My first question would be, where did it start? What was the genesis of your kind of schematic foundation to football? Yeah, I would argue, because I always argue. Um, if you weren't in the room with Amos Alonzo Stagg and Newt Rockney, then you stole your idea from somebody. Because <laughs> somebody has done what we're doing I now. I knew you would deflect. In the I past. It. So it's how do you put it together so it fits best for your team? So, so you view... You view what you did mm -hmm. as more of taking puzzle pieces and fitting them together. Sure. Just taking different puzzle pieces. How do I make this puzzle picture work for us? Uh, you look at Tim Tebow and what Irvin did with Tim. Unbelievable. Single wing football. They were doing that in the 30s. Notre Dame ran the box back then. You look at some of the stuff we did. It was Dutch Myers and TCU in the mm. 50s. So this has been the cyclical part of the game where we can go back into the history of the game and say, hey, how do we do it? Now, back then, I would say everybody was married to a system. Sure. And this is our system. This is what we do. Now, I think people are more of, I'll do some of this and then some of this mm -hmm. and some of this. Because what all great coaches do is, what can we add that's going to help this team this year and this game? Sure. Not, we run a system, and if it's not part of the system, then we're not going to. We're not going to do it. I think everybody has a sprinkling of everything. Everybody runs some power. Everybody runs some RPOs. Everybody runs. But I think the coaches that are the best are the ones that can match it to the personnel that they have. Yeah. But, you know, I, I grew up on the East Coast. I was in the, the old Yankee Conference, and we got to play Delaware every year. And it was a thing of beauty to watch a Tubby Raymond Delaware football team with unbelievable players like Rich Gannon mm -hmm. moving up and down the football field. And, and it was it was pretty. It was buck sweep to waggle to trap to option to empty to it was a million different things but it all fit into their system and so you can kind of watch and observe how they did it and then it was just adapt and really for us it all came from we were an i-formation team we were a young penn state our head coach was a tight end at penn state under bill Bo under bill bose is his name yeah under joe paterno joe yeah. paterno was his position coach yeah we dressed like penn state we were penn state we were in the eye we were tough hard nosed and we were physical and then when we transitioned, as I transitioned to the offensive corner, we didn't have any fullbacks. We just so it didn't. was born out of necessity. It was born out of necessity. Is our third wideout better than a fullback? He is. Well, then how do you run the ball without? You're going to have the, the wideout play fullback. So, but if you move him out of the box, maybe a linebacker steps out with him. Sure. So by formation, you've moved him, but you're still running similar plays. So it really became from necessity, but it's still – understanding the schematics of 11 on 11 and how can you affect people 11 on 11. Um, and then that became the fun part. Like what can we do with our players to give them a chance to be successful this week? How about when you look around, I would argue a lot of coaches are unwilling to take those steps. There's a fear factor of like, mm -hmm. uh, I, 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 there's an, an uncomfortable nature and yet you were willing to do that. How do we run power with three wide receivers? A lot of coaches would say, you can't run power with three wide receivers because you mm -hmm. have to have X, Y, and Z, and you've got to have the kick out, and you've got to have, the, and you've got to have a fullback or at least an H-back in there. And you, your willingness to say, well, why not? Yeah. How did that evolve? Well, I've always said, why not? <laughs> I don't know if that had anything to do with football, but I think your job as a coach is to create an environment where your players have an opportunity to be successful sure. and then get out of their way and then say, we're in the solution business. If you're a really good football coach, you're really good at solving problems. Mm. Here's our issue. How do we solve it? Let's move on. And I don't think we're married to what do other people think if we do this? You know, I've always said we're, I'm not governed by the fear of what other people say. So you may like what we do. You may not like what we do. We really don't care. Our job is to try to put our players in the best position we can. And I think maybe that experience for me, because we weren't in the limelight, mm -hmm. we were at New Hampshire. Um, so we didn't have a rabid fan base and message boards and all those other things at that point in time. Maybe that would have been different. Maybe I would have been different. I don't know. But our job was to win each week. Mm -hmm. And it was 
that's all we thought about. Like, what are we going to do to win? And that was our overarching goal every week. It's going to take this to win, then let's do it. Where do you think it's going, schematics? Like, do you, do you sense a trend right now? Because there was a big trend, like everyone had to go fast. Mm -hmm. And then everyone wanted to go tempo. And there was mm -hmm. a few outliers, right? For a while, it was like only Stanford would get in there and just like mm -hmm. <laughs> run it. But now, like, I, it's hard for me to predict like where it's going because everyone does, like you mentioned earlier, a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. I don't get caught up as much as what is the trend. Okay. It's just is what they're doing can be implemented into what we do. And I'll give you an old Joe Paterno, Penn State, Franny Gantner, and all those guys. If you add, you have to subtract. Because you can't like everything. Well, and you can't execute everything. Because you can't execute right? like, everything. Like, there's not an unlimited amount of So be like, hey, this is good, and then this is good, and then this is good. And I always have thought of, I remember Franny Gantner telling us that, the old longtime Penn State offense coordinator, to say, that's great. If we're going to add it, let's just look right now at our, what we have. What are we taking out? And then it makes you really think about what your scheme is. Well, let's take out that. Well, I really kind of like that. Okay, well, then let's take out – I really kind of like that. Well, they, maybe we're good. <laughs> maybe we don't have to add this, that this shiny new object that we saw yesterday that we kind of liked as we start to add it. And I think if you're conscious of knowing how many and what we're really conscious of – how many reps do we get during a week mm -hmm. where I feel comfortable enough or we feel comfortable enough that when we run it on Saturdays, we've given our players an opportunity to be successful running it mm -hmm. instead of, I can't believe they screwed it up because we ran it in a walkthrough on Tuesday. <laughs> you know, time. that's on us. Right. That's on us. That's, right. that's bad coaching. You know, when we call something in a game, we feel like our players have executed it to a point where we're going to be successful when we do it and not because – of lack of reps you know I think that's one of the advents of tempo is maybe you don't do it in games but you got to do it in practice so that you get enough reps to be successful in whatever schemes you run yep